Come on. Come on. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, happy Friday. I don't know what it is. March 22nd, I think. 23rd. Maybe the 23rd. I don't know. But I got to get some wheels polished. Tim's going to get going on the uh, spreader, getting that thing started up, brought in the shop. So let's get started here. This probably should be one of Micro's dirty jobs. Definitely a dirty job. What are the chances it'll start? On its own, without having to go get uh the jumpers. Oh, if I don't die, get in there. Oh. Yeah, I really need to fix that step. Apparently there's a bit of a leak. Oh, oh, there was a master disconnect on this. What do you think of our, our new broom? I mean, it's not really new new. It's been sitting in the shop, not put together yet for like, I don't know, six weeks. All right. Click. Showing eight. Click. Sock. Oh well. Kind of kind of expected that. Well, at least they were smart enough to put the ground weight in the back. Sucks when you gotta reach back over the positive. Alright. Alright, I think we'll go 30 out for a little while. Get that thing in the shop. Since it's Friday. I can just sit in there and melt out all weekend because I'm sure there's plenty of snow back in the box. And um, it's a beautiful spring day. All right, I had the battery charger on it for about a little while. Oh. <laughs> An hour or so. Uh, not much, but. Ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. Get some fuel to it. I don't see any smoke coming out yet though. much as I would love to leave it run, um, let the engine warm up and stuff, yeah, not gonna happen. So, go get in a little pan to catch most of that, and it's just gonna have to warm up the engine in the shop until we can fix it. The hard part of this is like, we know that that's a hydraulic leak. 
this is just water that's coming off of the exhaust from the snow melt. That's water. That's oil dripping from that filter. I believe. I believe that rest of this is water. Snow melt, as it were. So, we'll grab another oil pan. There's a few air leaks. Surprise, right? <laughs> More than just air leaks. Um, a few air leaks in that system for the suspension bags. Bags? How long have I been in Montana? Bags? Bags. Woo. Anyway, um, yeah, the uh, cylinder to raise the ladder, thanks, is broke. Easy fix. Airbags, bags, air bags look to be pretty decent, really. Um, I don't see any cords showing in them or any of that fun stuff. It's a big oil filter. Ooh. I got a water filter back there. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, I think we're catching most of the oil that's dripping. The rest of it's just gonna be water. And I don't know where I was aiming my camera over here. There we go. Is what it is. We'll get her fixed up. Maybe explore. Ooh, wood blocks. Who doesn't like a free wood block or two? And it's a little low, a little low on oil. The uh, camera cord disconnected. Does still have the camera right up there. Ah, I don't know if it's any good or not. Find out. And obviously, we have not even fired up the spreader system yet. Um, we just need to focus on getting the big issues fixed first. Get it to stop leaking oil, then we can pull this thing out, run the bottom belt, spreaders, and see what else we got to fix from there. But, I did see when I was walking around starting it, oh, it turned, apparently it rotates a little. I could see, you can see the belt right up in there, and I actually could see the lacings on the belt, and they actually look good. So, oh, it only moved ahead like an inch. So, looks like the lacings are right here. They look to be in pretty good shape. Um, nothing to really be concerned about that I see from this end. Oh, the lacings are leaking. Ah, just kidding. Who cares? No, um, not a bad machine, I don't think. Well, I found a use for the, uh, two extra box that we got. Hey, that's jazzy. Cool. Huh. Well, it's in. I'm gonna let it melt off. I'm gonna go do other things. Like, uh, I think I'm gonna go move some snow. Oh, what we figured, we figured seven inches of snow. So, boy, it actually does kind of have a nice radio. It's the important things. Yeah, I'm gonna let this melt off. Make this a Monday project. Go move some snow and actually gonna take off a little early today because there's a local um, event happening called the Schmeckfest at the school where Tony went to school and um, so anyway we're all gonna go there and enjoy Schmeckfest enjoy an evening of German food and fun well I don't know if it's German fun but I know it's German food well good morning a little chilly out this morning. Not uh, 60 degrees like it was playing tea a few days ago. Well, the man was right on this one. I ended up with over 12 inches of snow. So, pushed up some yesterday. It's uh, Monday, March, I don't know, 23rd, 24th, 25th, somewhere in there. 25th, probably. We're gonna go move some snow so we get some fertilizer trucks on loaded today. It's time to plow snow. But first, I get a start. That also awesome. got this started, just hasn't quite warmed up yet. Definitely 
definitely a mouse nest in the heater and it's ugh, kind of kind of stinks in here but whatever anyway let's go start the 145. i think it's eight degrees let's see how well the <coughs> grid heater works Turn the heater on. High. Well, without too much of a struggle, the undercarriage didn't want to turn. PTO belt took right off, which is the main belt. The undercarriage was a little froze at the flashing, but I got it. Didn't take as much as I thought it was good. So we're just gonna let that thing turn, warm itself up, and uh, keep pushing some more snow. Truck. I know one truck is supposedly going to be here at noon, the other truck I think is closer, but I don't know exactly where. Trucks, they just show up when they want anyway. Everything was running fine. Everything's ready to go. Now we get to wait on a truck. So we'll go push a little bit more snow around. Try push some snow away from the haystacks, um, just so it's not melting into the bales. And wait for a truck. If you've never been around or involved much in the trucking industry, you're better off. <laughs> no. Uh, if you've never been in the trucking industry, whether you're receiving trucks, loading trucks, or the trucker itself, it is 100% all the time a game of hurry up and wait. You, as the driver, you hurry to get to somewhere and then sit there and wait for them to load, paperwork, all that fun stuff. Uh, as the loader, you're sitting there waiting for the truck to show up, he's tied up, breakdowns maybe, bad roads, either or. You never know and then on the receiving end is the same you're waiting on that same truck he's tied up with paperwork he's tied up with bad roads breakdowns so it's always a game of hurry up and wait just part of it not a big deal you make do with what you get pretty good well then a ton of stuff to move but we didn't want this to be super muddy when it all melts so we figured we'd scrape everything off I'm pretty good all right I'm back home now and I am in the track skid steer I keep around home here and man I like this thing so much better than the tires it has so much more traction and boy they'll push me a ton of snow so 
Spent most of the day getting uh, snow moved. The yard looks good. It shouldn't be too much mud now. And then Tim brought the 370 back in the shop. Got a guy coming tomorrow that's gonna scrub it down, take care of the clear coat on it, reshoot it, do whatever he does. We'll find out tomorrow when it gets here. But uh, ceramic coating, make it shiny again, look good. So, and Tim fixed the tire on the tunner. And then yeah, that was about the day been in the office looking for wheel weights and well mostly we need weights for the front of this and the back of that uh stagger 9280 so if anybody knows of a good set of weights around you could use some you need to weight up that uh triples in the back of that tractor somehow for a land roller maybe we'll just put beet juice in the back tires or something like that but we do need to do something all right see you tomorrow Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. See you next video!